uh, in the last 25, uh, 28 years after the genocide against the Tutsi, 1994, uh, under the leadership of His Excellency Paul Kagame, the President of uh, the Republic of Rwanda, uh, the country has progressively and intentionally uh, created an equal and inclusive society. Uh, we do still, uh, uh, we have made progress and we, we do still uh, have a long way to go, but it, we, we recognize that a lot has been done in closing the gender gap. Um, and this is uh, uh, clear when we look into the report, like the, the last uh, World Economic Forum, the Global Gender Gap Report of the World Economic Forum uh, released in 2021. Uh, it's, it has places Rwanda at seventh globally and second in Africa in narrowing the gender gap. And this is done uh, by looking into key specific s sectors like education, uh, economy, uh, health, and uh, women participation in, in governance. So this makes Rwanda one of the best places in the world to be a woman, I think. So coming back to your question on why Rwanda agreed to host this uh, conference, uh, it is true that uh, the government of Rwanda, under the leadership uh, through the Minister of Gender and Family Promotion, that is there to coordinate strategically all the activities uh, uh, to empower women and young girls, uh, has been designated to host, uh, uh, to be the co-chair of the conference host committee. And we look forward to establishing not just uh, a city, a country, but a regional approach to supporting this Women Deliver conference to be happening here in Rwanda next year. Uh, the country wishes to ensure that its hallmarks, including peace and reconciliation, women empowerment, promotion of investment and entrepreneurship, especially for women and young girls, women's access to information and technology, are ex exemplified through uh, this Women Deliver uh, Forum. So we, we do recognize that Women uh, Deliver is a platform that will bring together the vast community, diverse community from all over the world to discuss different issues that still affect women and young girls. And they come up with tangible uh, recommendation, resolution for an inclusive and eco-global community. So Rwanda will benefit from knowledge, knowledge sharing, uh, building further collaboration to promote gender equality and women empowerment. So we really couldn't say no to such an honor and privilege to host this important uh, event happening for the first time on African continent. As the minister already spoke, uh, World Economic Forum uh, ranks uh, Rwanda seventh globally and second in Africa. Um, and it was really important post-COVID to see near universal health care here in Rwanda. UHC um, is the bedrock um, of gender equality. And then lastly, there are so many laws, policies, and frameworks here that are being implemented, whether that's Vision 2050 um, or the National Strategy for Transformation. So uh, we're, it's a real privilege to have our conference here for the first time in Africa and specifically here in Kigali. Uh, like already mentioned, gender-based violence, which has been on an increase uh, during the pandemic and continues to be a major issue facing girls and women, will be uh, a central focus of the, of the conference, as will be climate change, because we know climate change affects everybody, but also has a, a disproportionate effect on girls and women and really uh, sets them back uh, a lot in achieving their true potential. Unpaid care, which again is an issue that sort of emerged during the pandemic, when so many girls and women had to drop so many other things that they were doing in order to take care of their households and communities and face an, un, uh, an unbalanced burden of that uh, care uh, on them. Uh, so we'll continue to focus on, on these major issues, which are also, I know, a priority for the government of Rwanda and the minister, um, but bring together a global audience that will try to address them and coming together uh, come up with solutions, come up with inspiration, come up with joint energy. We all know we need to renew our energies going forward to face all these issues and with, with a renewed vigor. So those are some of the thematics that we'll be addressing at, during the conference.